This short movie provides some insights on the production of Neolithic flint axes. The initiative for the experimental study derives from the need to understand how the flint axes collected and excavated from a large PPNA quarry site, Kaiser Hill, in the vicinity of the city of Modine, were produced. We have conducted a series of napping experiments to try and reconstruct the different stages of axe making, focusing on certain technological aspects of the production in order to replicate the characteristics of the Kaiser axes. By definition, flint axes are napped on both faces, bifacially, and therefore have a lenticular cross-section. Axes are known ethnographically and are used in different tasks and also as cultic objects. They are usually elongated in order to facilitate hafting, which enables efficient utilization. In the experiments, we use small-sized blanks because this is the blank size of the Kaiser axes. The small blanks are mostly irregular cortical nodules, but also small flakes of different shapes. The first stage of producing an axe is the preparation of an acute edge by a series of flake removals from both faces of the artifact. Clearly, a skilled napper is capable of achieving such an edge on different types of blanks. The next stage is the removal of an elongated ridge blade. The scar left by the blade removal will provide a suitable striking platform for the next stages of the artifact preparation. This elongated striking platform is a must when napping small and irregularly shaped blanks like those of the Kaiser Hill axes. This type of waste product is a subtype of the Neolithic axe production waste category the lateral spalls. This category includes also other varieties of waste items removed during later stages of the axe production. These are thinner and their dorsal faces are covered by flat, fine scars typical of the advanced stages of axe manufacture. Transversal spalls are made in order to thin the distal working end of the axe, the most important functional part. This is the final stage of the axe modification after all other parts of the tool were modified to shape. Transversal spalls are usually curved, triangular in cross-section, and their shape vary from coarse concave thick items to thinner ones, depending whether they are removed at the start of this modification stage or at its end. These spalls not only thin the axe, but sometimes provide a striking platform which facilitate thinning the axe along its length axis. Thinning removals are visible either on or both faces of the tool. Transversal spalls varieties should not be confused, as is frequently done, with the transit blow spall, the very final removal on the distal end of the axe, which evidence scar is supposed to be a hallmark of PPN axes. Apparently, there is a variety of waste product related to axe production. These waste products derive from the different stages of the axe production, these waste products indicate in situ axe production. These waste products were recovered at Kaiser Hill as well as in many other PPN, pre-pottery Noolithic, chipped zone assemblages. All of this indicates that there was a common, widely used scheme of making a flint axe during the PPN.